This is in 6 8, so it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So try to feel that, those little beats. And then you've got your big it has been four. really challenging. Uh, choirs are aerosol producing art forms. And this has been particularly challenging uh, for the kids and the youth. You know, they have so much of their lives that has shifted to online. And choir has been one of those kind of extracurricular things that takes them out of school, gets them together with their peers. As an organization, we do a lot of leadership training, we do a lot of you know, mentorship, and so it's more than just learning notes. It's a lot of confidence building when you're performing in front of you know, hundreds of people, singing solos, introducing pieces. Like there's, just, it's a, there's a lot that goes into that in-person experience that is really difficult to, to replicate in an online, like Zoom-based um, atmospheres. The Cherub Choir's Penelope Vance are missed in person rehearsal. When they're online, it's like everyone has their microphones off, so you can't really hear them except for yourself and the teacher. Sharing some of the silver linings, they're now much more adaptable with technology. When Omicron shifted their planned in-person holiday concert to virtual just before Christmas, they managed to create the required videos in just three days. Uh, there are different opportunities when you're online, so, you know, there's been conversations that we probably wouldn't have had, and, and there's been a lot, you know, with the older kids too, pandemic-connected things, social justice things, and racism, and, you know, and how does that connect in with what we're doing musically? They received a Trillium grant helping them to come back together. We've had to have extra PPE, we've put in like HEPA filters in our space, we've had to change spaces, we've had like all kinds of expenses around, uh, you know, adapting to new conditions. And this Trillium grant was a big, big, big uh, uh, factor in us being able to manage that. Yeah. Lucia Salas is thrilled to be back in person. Because it's way better than being on a screen, because then you get to actually see all the people that are there and it's way easier. It's, it's great because they all have amazing voices and it's just, it's nice because every time like we sing together, even if it's just a warm up, it sounds like amazing. It's just like night and day. And uh, to learn the music was like 10 times faster because you're getting supported, you're all together, you're, you're working together uh, as you're looking at the music and so on. So it was, it was just, it was a bit emotional, <laughs> you know, when we got back together. And aiding in the choir's mental health, singing can be therapeutic. When you're sad, it just makes me feel better because, like, it just takes out all the emotions. And it just helps me make me feel better, and it's fun for me to sing. And I like singing a lot. I walk out of that room after the rehearsal, I'm in a completely different space than I was when I walked in, just because of my interaction with them and who they are. Incredible people. So there's hope for the future, and, and I see it every week. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.